with wild dogs, you know, there are numerous control options available. I th think you really need to be looking at using every control option available to you. So, you know, do your baiting, you know, take your opportunity to do opportunistic shooting um, and use your dog trapping. Um, yeah, so it's a combination of all those things, you know, will, you know, you know, give you the best result. So certainly baiting's very, you know, cost effective, you know, shooting, you know, it's just got to be at the right spot at the right time. Um, and you've got to take those opportunities and um, when you when you do get them. And yeah, trapping, you know, is a really a major tool as well. Um, though, you know, it is expensive, but you know, when you've got a bait shy dog, you know, trapping's, you know, really your, your, your main option available to you. Yeah, one thing that we're really keen to do is encourage landholders to work together as a group controlling wild dogs. Um, like John said, um, you know, dogs cover a, a large area, so if we can get farmers working together, um, covering off the, on the home ranges of where these dogs are, um, the more it really increases our chance of being successful in controlling him. Um, so we're really keen to, to support, like, get groups together. So if you're, you know, in an area where you've got a wild dog and you have a local fox baiting con uh, group, um, really we certainly encourage those groups to get together and maybe start thinking about including dog control into their, their group uh, programs as well. Um, so we're very keen to do that. And also the assistance that is available out there for funding um, you know, is for landholders working together as a group. Um, yeah, so certainly if, you know, farmers want to make an impact in their local area, to have the maximum impact and get the most assistance, you know, from outside to help them in that, they need to get together as a group and work together.